Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing really well. If this is your first time here, I'm Lindy Peters and I'm a financial coach. So today we are going to talk about the four budgeting mistakes that people tend to make. Now the first thing I want to talk about is no money for fun. Now this is really not helpful when you're on a budget because this makes people hate a budget. And a budget is actually there to make your life easier and not make it more restrictive and make it horrible for you. So it's really important to ensure that you do budget for fun as well. I put away £150 a month for whatever pops up throughout the month for us that we want to go and do. If we get up in the morning and feel, oh, today we want to do something, I want to know there's money there for whatever we feel like throughout the month. Because we don't tend to plan every single month exactly throughout, so I put £150 away for any eventualities that do pop up. Now, at the end of the month, when I have some of those left, I do move those to a savings account as well for an emergency fund for whenever we need anything else. Now, the next thing is guesstimating. Now, guesstimating is really not a great idea because if you're having a budget, you want to know exactly the amounts going in and going out. You don't want to guess and then your guess is wrong and then when it comes to paying things, you have less money than what you budgeted for for that specific thing. That means it will have a knock-on effect on everything else on your budget, ending up making the month stressful and harder for you, which is really unnecessary. It's really important that you know exactly what you have going out and put that exact amount in your budget. If you actually want to give yourself a bit of leg room, you can add an extra pound on everything to make sure for any increases or anything like that. And that will also give you a little bit of extra savings money at the end. But make sure you definitely don't underestimate because that will cause you a lot of problems in the month. If you're getting value so far, please make sure you give me a thumbs up to let me know. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So the next thing is emergency fund. Now emergency fund is really important to have because this will help you out in months when something does go wrong so you don't end up spending money out of your budget that you didn't plan for or ending up having to make a loan or put it on a credit card and then struggle for the next few months just to get everything paid off and back on track. Now it's a good idea to put a little bit of money away every single month and having at least three months worth of backup in your emergency fund for any eventualities that does turn up so that if something does happen you've got money to delve into without having to worry about a credit card or a loan and then as you pay every single month back into your emergency fund you'll build it back up to where you would like it to be. Now the last thing is tracking your spending. Now when you've got a budget it's really important to make sure you track your spending so that you stick to your budgeting plan as to make sure that you've got the money that you set out for every specific area in your life that you wanted. Because if you end up spending money that you did not plan to spend, you might end up really struggling at the end of the month to meet all the targets that you and your family set for your budget. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. For any topic request or any questions for me, please comment below and I'll get back to you personally. Have a lovely day guys. Bye.